Hey guys, my name is Arcode, and today I'll be showing you how to create a round system in Roblox Studio. This is quite a lengthy tutorial, well, probably going to be more lengthy than my other ones, so uh, grab a snack. So, uh, I have a few things just jumbled up everywhere. So I have stuff in replicated storage, server storage, server script service, and starter GUI. So, first of all, uh, I'll go through each one one by one. I'll go through what's in replicated storage. So I have status in replicated storage. It's just a uh, string value called status. Make sure it's named like this. I will leave the model in the description. Uh, make sure it's named like this. But, and that's practically all for in replicated storage for today. In service script service, I have this script. It's not that long uh, and it's actually quite simple. It's just a bunch of counting down and uh, choosing maps and things like that. Then in server storage, we have maps. So if I just bring this out into a workspace, you'll see that I've just made the simple map for my game and it has inside of it, it has two folders, spawns and vault folder. You don't really need vault folder, but it will work if you're using my uh, movement system. So you need a vault fo folder if you're using my movement system. I'll leave the uh, movement system additions in the comment section, not the description. There will be hopefully a pinned comment, but you definitely need spawns because this is where the player will spawn. Uh, one quick tip is I would recommend actually putting these instead of on the ground actually a little bit higher so that the player doesn't spawn in the ground. But other than that, you can put that back into maps. And then in uh, start the GUI, you'll see that I have a status GUI with uh, a screen GUI, a local script, text label, and a UI stroke. You don't really need a UI stroke, but this is what the uh, thing looks like. Uh, the local script is actually really simple. It just sets the uh, text value to the, it sets this text value to the status text value in replicated storage, pardon me. Uh, so the real magic happens in this script. So here we have the uh, variables. So server storage is just game, uh, game get server, server storage. Uh, replicated storage is the same thing, players is the same thing, and maps is the maps folder in server storage, and status is the status in replicated storage. So this while true always works, so uh, no matter what, it will run, unless this uh, script is disabled, so enable disabled. So local countdown, so this is the intermission section, so this is going to be how long the intermission is. So let I have it for 30 seconds. Uh, this is just the countdown value. So this is this is just uh, putting intermission uh, concatenates countdown, which basically means um, add on countdown to the end. Uh, you can change this to like let's say break, and it will say break in the main menu, or well, not the main menu, the game, and it will go until countdown equals zero. Then it will go into this. This is uh, one of the more complicated parts. So this is uh, the choosing map. So this just sets the value to choosing map. So it'll set, say choosing map in the game. And this basically has four variables. Uh, chosen map is a random function. So one is the least number of uh, n uh, number that you can get. And hashtag maps is the amount of maps there are inside of the maps folder and it just clones the map that was chosen and then vault folder is the uh, vault folder inside of it so you don't need this if you don't are not using my movement system but you will need these two because these are spawns it's basically the exact same thing as vault folder but a random spawn is the uh, random spawn uh, using the same math.random uh, and then it just has a little delay you can delete this if you want but it adds the vault folder and chosen map into the workspace. Then it does status.value, map chosen, teleport to players, and this is a little pause. Now, this is where we teleport the players. So, uh, this is a four loop, and this is the number of players, and this is the max number. So, this returns a number. So, let's say there are four people inside of the game it will return four uh, this would be this is the uh, variable of the player this or what we're teleporting and this is the however number there is or I really so this just sets uh, this just checks if the player has a humanoid 
then it sets the humanoid root part C frame to random spawn dot C frame, which we declared here. Uh, this is just a teleportation, so I'll show you in game. This makes it so that the player can't move until the game has started, but they can look around. And this just waits until uh, for everybody to be able to be spawned in. And then this uh, unfreezes the player, so it just sets the anchor to false. This is the game time, so let's say I wanted the round to last 1 minute and 30 seconds, then I would have to do 90 because this is in seconds, but I'll have it as 60. And this is just updates the status, so it'll say in game, concatenates countdown. Next, this just kills all the players. You can actually have it as a uh, C frame, so instead of killing the players, you can just set the uh, spawn location uh, to whatever you want. It's not; it's just exactly the same as this. So you just copy this, and instead of random spawn C frame, you put like a C frame here. So like, let's say part, and let's name it uh, TP you'll do tp.c frame but I'm not gonna do that and uh, then it once it kills everybody it makes it destroys the chosen map and the vault folder so you can't vault again and you can't see it then it just says around ended waiting for new game this is the slight pause and then status value is set to nil so I'll show you what it looks like in game so if I press play you can see at the top it says break, uh, that's what I changed before. You'll be able to see that I'm able to vault, use my movement system. Choosing map, um, as you can see in this area of the map, of the screen, you'll see our map was chosen. Now if we go into third person you'll see I need to make the things a little bit lower but we got released and now we're able to roam freely in the map and I'm also able to vault and then I'm in game for 47 seconds I'll speed this up Alright, so in game 1, it kills the player, then sets us back to the lobby, and it's, if we wait 10 seconds, the new round will start, uh, break 30 seconds, so yep, yeah, that's how you create the round system, and this will go on for, you can have as many maps as you want, uh, it's really customizable, thanks for watching.